yeah good morning or afternoon youtube depends on when you see it or how you see it but uh i'm back with another video um i know i have some videos that i haven't posted i hate editing so until i start making money to do this they're gonna be kind of slow coming anywho uh this is being filmed on my brand new galaxy note 20 that is i don't think i've done a video with this one yet but anyway long story short yeah, got a little bit of unboxing for you today hold on we're right back got some videos I haven't put up yet about Mater. Uh, he is running. I just got to finish putting up the videos, but I had two 12-inch Rocker Fosgate P2s in it, and I don't know if anybody knows too much about a 98 F250, but uh, it's the extended cab, three-door not much room in the back for passengers let alone a three-piece speaker box however long that damn thing was can't remember how long it was but anywho i sold those and i'm going in a different direction uh if you don't know by now you can't see the box i have a box here from audio pipe which uh i believe the company audio pipe is very underrated in the uh, car stereo game. Um, as far as the amplifiers, uh, subwoofers, and um, price per wattage and stuff, audio pipe is very, very, very underrated. So, with that being said, time for a little bit of unboxing. Doo -doo -doo. And this is the, uh, it's the Rocker Forest J. T double X BDC four fifteen D two. So what that means is it's a fifteen inch dual two ohm voice coil subwoofer, in which I've been doing my uh, research and everything. And this is the one I decided to go with. So. Um, so I can bring you guys a little closer. Ding. Let me see here. Can I crank up anymore? Can I crank it? Uh, going up. All right. My fancy handy dandy little tripod here. Excuse the lighting, it's total crap because I'm outside. But anywho, who cares? As long as it's in focus. Is it in focus? It's in focus. So, uh, so when you first open the box, you're greeted with this diagram, and it's uh, the cutout template. If you're making your own box, which is cool because a lot of companies don't even give you. The cutout template so you have the cutout template here and also on that template you have the wiring diagrams or the wiring schematics that you can use and it tells you how to wire your subwoofer oh yeah so we got four ohm dvcs or two ohms over here where we are at um and series parallel get a foam load or you run all series two on but I got one so I'm gonna run all four voice calls and I'm gonna get a 
one ohm load. If my math is correct, don't don't quote me on that. I have to check it with my meter when I wire it again. Anyway, we don't know. So, uh, not sure of the audio. Uh, I don't have a microphone, so any audio that you hear is coming straight from the phone. And uh, man, get your user manual and everything, your pamphlet. Uh, Allen key. This this does have Allen key screw type terminals or inputs on it uh, which is pretty good you know nice good size booklet uh, warranty card information you know like somebody else say flossy plug me file them this <laughs> and all its splendid glory is what uh, I'm videoing this for Man, I know the other videos I saw said this is a beefy surround, but this is a beefy surround. So I'm gonna try and muscle this up out of the box, which they do a good job with shipping. And God, man, this thing's stout. I ain't even lifted it yet. This is no one-handed flip, none of that good stuff. Two-hander here, buddy. Oh. Yep, there she goes. Woohoo! Oh, and there's my knife. Anyway, so we're gonna chuck that eh, over there. Oh man, this thing is so sexy. This thing is sexy. Oh man. Beautiful. You. You. Beautiful. Look at that. Man, got a nice thick roll surround. Double stitched. I've been hearing a lot about how stiff the center cone is, and they weren't lying. And this is cool. I like this little attention to detail. It's not a sticker. And I guess it's glued on. But it's a little little placard. It says AP4 stack. And when the reason it says four stack because it is a four stack magnet. Jesus, this rascal's heavy. Man, you have some nice, good sized tinsel leads, black spider, and the rear of the surround is in this red color. I guess with those people who invert their subs. I don't know if you can see that, but that is sexy. Now, the lugs on the back, it is a four stack, but they're not as thick. I don't know if you can see that. They're not as thick. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna measure this. See how, how wide those are. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Let's see. How wide the magnets are. Eh. Uh, half inch. Maybe. Something like that. Alright. Pause for a second. I'm about to be interrupted. Alright, sorry for that. Uh, oh, yeah, now. Uh, I think I said each magnet was a half inch. I want to say. All together. Give or take. Check that again. Nah, each magnet is a. Actually, it is. About. Maybe five eighths, maybe five eighths, but all together, we're looking at right at three inches. No, oh, no, I'm sorry. I was at the bottom of it. Two uh, is that five sixteenths, a little over five eighths, something like that. Whatever. Anyway, 
but that is the magnet and the surround itself is one and a half to one and five eighths thick and uh oh man that cone is jeez oh, i can't wait to get this mounted up and send some power to this bad boy yes indeed yes indeed mm. Ah, smells so good. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, I am going to probably flip this over right quick because I want to look at the back. And Jesus, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's bad. It feels like about 45 pounds. I'm talking about 38. Whew. Okay. Now. Okay, what do we have here? We got, looks like they got dual positives on one side and dual negatives, which is cool. So, you can run your input right here and branch your negative to over here and your other negative over here. I believe that's how they do it. But I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna see what I get, what ohm load I get. Um, I am going to put these up, oh, but a minute, you probably can't see because I'm off center. I am going to put this on a Rockford Forest Gate uh, Prime 1200.1D. Uh, supposed to be 1200 watts max. Uh, I'm sorry, 1200 watts RMS at one ohm. Uh, is what that amplifier is rated at. So. That's what it is. Um, I'll be running it at one ohm. Um, some say you can you can ohm it down to 0 0.8 and be safe. I'm not risking it. I base on the budget. Um, yeah, pretty much. But anyway, uh, speaking of basing on a budget, I. I'm not going to buy another uh, subwoofer uh, enclosure or speaker box, as some people call it. But instead, I'm going to modify um, an oldie. So, excuse me. I'm going to sweep. I'm going to rotate to right over here. Over there, over here. Why is it floating? And I'm gonna bring you guys down. We're going down, down, baby. Low speed in the rain, global swoon, boom, baby. And let it go. Yeah, we're gonna bring that on down like that. Okay, so that right there uh, is uh, a homemade uh, subwoofer enclosure for uh, 212 and subwoofers. Um, it's baffled on one side and they have a nice port the guy did a decent job but they made it out of i want to say uh like the best thing i where can explain it the kind of materials they use it's like a birch like shelving material and uh it's sturdy don't get me wrong it is sturdy as all get out but it came out of, i want to say he he had a suburban the guy brought the 12s from the Rockford Fosgate 12s. This is the box that originally came in. Um, I kept this box and I brought another box to put them in because this one was just so so large. Uh, anyway, stats on this one. Looking at 16 inches and in, uh, depth and the length is well over. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, it's it's uh, four feet long yeah but like I said I'm recycling in this box so I'm gonna cut this bad boy right about here and I'm gonna widen that 12 inch hole to a 15 and I'm gonna slap it glue it and screw it back together 
So, with that being said, this is your boy. Uh, down dollar. Mansa Musa. Tired boss, by the way. Uh, so, I'm going to cut this video right here. And uh, the next one I'm going to do on this little shindig. Uh, I would have already cut this box down to size, glued a side onto it, and probably have the sub mounted and wired up, or right before I mount and wired it up. Well, I already have it wired. I'll just put my multimeter on to see what ohm load I'm at. I'll probably show you guys that. So, with that being said, peace, and it's time to get cut.